Hey there, welcome to this Friday live edition of the Certified Badass Online Marketing uh, Podcast. I'm your host, Bobby Clink, and I'm excited for today's show. I'm excited because we're gonna be talking about words, and I like words. And specifically, we're gonna be talking about why I'm proud to call myself an internet marketer. And this is something that, you know, I've been thinking about, and it's something that I think we need to chat about because not a lot of people are going to admit, hey, I, I want to call myself an internet marketer. But I believe we should wear this as a badge of honor. And I'm going to talk about why we should in this post, or sorry, in this episode. Now, this is really kind of a discussion about something that, you know, I, I've been thinking about. It's about words, about phraseology, but it's something that I want you to hear me say. Now, before we dive into the substance, if you haven't yet, uh, I would love for you to join me uh, as a student inside a badass online marketing university. It is absolutely free. Uh, yes, people are going to ask me this. There is no trick. There is no catch. There's no upsell. It is a 100% free training university for online entrepreneurs. Right now, there's one course called Online Marketing Foundations. My team is actually hard at work moving our tech stack over, and our hope is that by mid-March, we're not sure, but our hope is that by mid-March, we're gonna move over to the new tech stack. And at that point, we're gonna have at least four or five courses in there. And you can sign up absolutely free at bobbyclink.com forward slash bomb you. That's B-O-M-U. Now, with that, I wanna dive into this discussion, this topic, this idea of, you know, being an internet marketer and why we should be proud to be internet marketers. And um, the idea for this kind of came with or came to me from thinking about something that that, you know, happened. I don't know when it was exactly. It was um, back in um, uh, it would have been back in the fall, probably September or something like that. And I posted this funny picture of myself with blue tape over my face on Facebook. And I was joking that I had to do that to avoid um, getting myself in trouble because I was with a bunch of entrepreneurs who were talking about how launching is the best thing since sliced bread. Now it led to some interesting discussions and some people got mad at me about it because I've said, for example, look, we're all marketers. We need to own it. We need to admit it. Uh, we have to get good at all this stuff in, in, in part of this discussion. And one of these things led, you know, one of my friends to say something like, look, most of, most people here aren't internet marketers. You know, they're not, they're, they're this or that or the other. And I could tell there was like this defensiveness. There was a defensiveness in the tone because when most people use the word internet marketer, they're using it as an insult. They're using it as, a, oh, ugh, you know, the, the, you're an internet marketer. And I, I get where that comes from, right? Because they're thinking of the people who put pictures of private jets, of mansions, of all of that stuff. That's who they are thinking about when they think of the word internet marketer. And I mean, I get it, right? I mean, I don't like those people. I don't like hanging out in that group. I don't like it, you know, when I go through something and, you know, if I sign up for something, I have to go through like eight levels of them trying to force me to buy something before they just give me what I asked for, right? I don't like that. You probably don't either. And if, in your mind, if you're thinking that's what an internet marketer is, then you're like, yeah, okay. I don't want to be an internet marketer. And I don't either. And so for a long time, you know, even me and my thinking, I put people who are online entrepreneurs into two different camps. I thought of like the, the heart centered, you know, the people who, who cared about their people and then the internet marketers. That's how I thought of stuff originally. I was wrong. I was wrong because those other people aren't marketers. And that's what I want the key thing to get it. And that's, in a sense, my key message today. The people who we think of as bro marketers, the people who are posting pictures of private jets, of mansions, of Lamborghinis, the people who are like sell, 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 the people who you know are doing all of those things aren't marketers at all. They literally aren't. Now, if you, you're confused about what I mean by that, listen to Tuesday's episode, episode 194, where I talk about marketing versus selling, the difference and why we should be marketers, not sellers. But the key thing I want you to get is that the things, the bad things we think about 
when we think of what personifies like internet marketers is actually salespeople, not marketers. And again, I don't want to say that selling is bad. Selling is not always bad if it's done right. But the way that they're doing it is not. I'm just going to tell you, if you view everything through the lens of how can I get more money, how can I make someone give me more money, you're not a marketer. And so that's kind of the key distinction I want to make. And I want to explain what the term internet marketer means, because it's two words. And all we got to do is look at the two words. One of them is internet. We know what the internet is, right? We're on the internets right now. Um, all that, that means is that you're marketing on the internet. And so that's pretty simple. And then the question is, what is marketing? Well, I'll tell you what an internet marketer does. Like all marketers, they put their audience first. It's not about me, me, me. It's not about how do I make more money? It's not about that. It's like, how do I serve my audience? How do I help my audience? How do I get them the result they need, they want, and that will help them? So that's what an internet marketer is at the first level. But they use the internet to understand their people, to understand what it is that they need, what it is that they want, how it is that we can serve them. And they use the internet to connect with their people, to build the no like, and trust factor, to do this the right way so that they're actually be, can be sure that what they're doing is helpful, not harmful. An internet marketer then creates a service or a product, which they're going to sell over the internet, but it's a service or product that fits their audience to a T that serves their audience to a T that is about helping their audience, not about how can I make the most money? Because again, that's what marketing is. And internet marketing just means we're doing it on the line. And then another distinguishing factor in my definition of the word internet marketer is that we don't use high, you know, high pressure sales tactics. We don't try to capitalize on fear, on negative emotions. Instead, we say, I'm here to serve you and so I'm going to let you buy when is right for you. And I know that makes me weird, but that's what a marketer would do. Someone who wants to force people to buy at a time that is not right for them isn't a marketer. They are a salesperson who is focused on their own needs, not their customers' needs. So I just wanted to do this quick episode uh, today to talk about this important concept because I want us to reclaim the word internet marketer because it should not be a dirty word. I am proud to be an internet marketer. You can call me an online marketer. You can call me whatever you want. None of it is a bad word because the reality is that if you're doing this right, if you're actually marketing, you are doing it right. And I'm going to be on a quest now to reclaim words, to make these things mean what they actually should mean. And so I'm going to be clear. I'm not here for the people who are using those, you know, slimy, high pressure sales tactics. And I'll talk about that again uh, before too long. But what I want you to get is they are not marketers. And we need to be clear. We as an industry need to say, that's not marketing. That's not internet marketing. That's not any kind of marketing. So don't confuse them with us. The only way that we actually reclaim the word is if we start saying that and making it clear to people. So that's what this episode is about. And like I said, I'm an internet marketer. I'm proud of it. And you should be an internet marketer too and should be damn proud to be one. That's it for this episode. I'll see you again next week.